Hi guys and welcome back. I'm really excited for today's video because I'm going to be showing you my most repurchased skincare products that I've been using, my holy grails, and everything will be listed down below. So let me go ahead and jump in. I first off want to say I am not a dermatologist. I am not an esthetician. I am just a girl who loves to take care of her skin and experiment with products and give you my opinion. Some of these products I use daily while other products I listen to my body. And what I mean by that, the time of year, the time of month, am I dry, am I oily? Whatever is going on with my skin at the time, I change up a couple of products, not everything. So the first product is an oil cleanser that I've been using, I feel like, for years. This is the DHC Deep Cleansing Oil. I like to do a double cleanse routine when I take off my makeup, especially. Sometimes in the morning, I'll still double cleanse, but I definitely do it after I wear makeup no matter what, no matter what day it is, no matter anything, I will double cleanse if I wear makeup. There's plenty of oil cleansers on the market. This is just the one that I have fallen in love with and helps start my skincare off. The next two products I get in the set off of Amazon. It is the Acure, I think that's how you pronounce it. This is the Brightening Facial Scrub. And then this one is the Brightening Cleanse, Bright, <laughs> let's try that again, the Brightening Cleansing Gel. The scrub I only use use if I feel like I'm having issues with my skin, like dry skin, I need a good exfoliation, something like that. So I don't use this daily just because scrubs can tend to get the bad rap of being super harsh. This is so gentle. It's not like I'm pressing super hard trying to like rub it into my skin. I just graze it over my skin, get a good exfoliation with this product. And what I like about these products from this brand is they're a clean brand. So there's they're paraben free, sulfate free, mineral oil free, formaldehyde free, cruelty free, 100% vegan, and you just don't really feel guilty with using this brand. They have a little bit of a scent to them, nothing overwhelming. I feel like the scrub isn't as strong, but then the brightening, brightening cleansing gel, why do I have such a difficult time saying that? It smells so good, but it smells like fresh to me. Uh, pomegranate, blackberry, Acai, I think that's how you're saying it. That is the smell that that the gel. Um... Oh, I got it. <laughs> that this gel claims to have. I don't think it's overwhelming. I've never had any issues with these products. Again, they're a clean skin brand. So I really enjoy these. I would give them a shot if I were you. I get mine off of Amazon. I do believe you can get the scrub at Target. I think. Don't quote me on that. But I have seen a couple of their products in Target in the clean beauty sections. So if you're looking for more of a clean skincare routine, I would suggest trying this brand out. The next product I've been using, I feel like probably over a year, um, but it is from Glow Recipe. This is a watermelon glow PHA, BHA, Pore Tightening Toner. I love this stuff. I've seen it go viral, I feel like a year or two ago, which is why I bought it. It smells amazing and it feels so good on the skin, so hydrating. I don't know if there's gonna be anything to ever get me away from this. And I know sometimes you need to change up your products to get your skin to not get used to anything so ingredients continue to work. But this one would be hard to get away from. The only other one I have ever used is from Polish Choice. I like that one too, but I'm stuck on this. I just love it and I think it really works. The next product is probably, well, not probably, it is a price product. I'm not sitting here trying to shove products down your throat saying you need them. This is just what I use. I also have a lovely husband that works for this company, so I do get a discount for this product. But it's by SK2. This is the facial essence. The research on this essence is actually pretty cool. If you ever have time, look into it. It's a long story, so I won't get into it. But I really like SK2 products. The problem is their prices. Every six months, the company he works for 
sends him an email on discounts on SK2. So I always um, tell him to go ahead and get me some products from them. That's the only time I will buy SK2. But I wanted to be fully transparent with you. Um, but this product, normal price, is very, very expensive. If you can afford it, have at it, go for it. But I will only buy it when it's on a discount. But I do love this product and I do think that it works. The next product, I don't think I can go without this either. This is the True Skin Vitamin C Serum. You can get this at Amazon and I know I've seen it at Target. I think again in the clean beauty section. I love using this in the morning when I wash my face. I do use a retinol at night and they do say don't mix your vitamin C with your retinol. So I usually, like I said, only use this in the mornings. But vitamin C does so many amazing things for your skin. It boosts collagen, helps heal sun damage. It can brighten your complexion, fade dark spots, reduce redness, and also can help with uneven skin texture. So I will never go without my vitamin C. And for some reason, this is the one I'm drawn to. It has so many positive, great reviews on Amazon. And it's super affordable, so you can't go wrong with that. My next product I'm going to talk about is pricey as well. This is the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. I slather, slather myself with this stuff at night. It is so hydrating, so creamy. I wake up and my skin is so plump and just, I look rejuvenated. Even if I only got like four hours of sleep, my skin says different when I use this stuff. I've tried to use more affordable products products when it comes to my moisturizers there's just something about this that I just keep going back to I'll get little uh, travel sizes or trial sizes of stuff so that I can try other things out but unfortunately or fortunately however you want to look at it I keep going back to this I have never tried their water cream that's another product of theirs that I would love to try I've tried their face wash I think it's like the rice water face wash uh, that just didn't do it for me, but this product right here is my holy grail and now my husband's starting to use it. <laughs> he likes it, so he just uses it at night. But I will also use this before I apply makeup. I feel like my makeup goes over this beautifully. I'm super hydrated. Nothing is it's sticking to dry patches or anything when I use this product. I do want to mention a couple other products that... I have not repurchased, but I will be repurchasing. This has went viral, I don't know how many times. I was super late to the game when it came to this product. You know what I'm talking about. All I have to do is say snail. That's it, you know what I'm talking about. It's the Advanced Snail Mucin Essence. This stuff is amazing. When I first heard about it, I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Is that really what I think it is? And it's just like, this is interesting, but but I'm, I'm here for it. I'm just like everybody else. I'm going to be that following, ride the coattails, jump on the train with this stuff. I love it. I think they also have a moisturizer, and they do sell this at Target, too. I just get mine off of Amazon, um, I think, along with all these products, but the SK2, just because I'm an Amazon whore at this point of my life. This stuff is so good. I'll use one pump in the morning, and then at night, I'll use two pumps. So hydrating. I've watched a lot of videos about this product, and a lot of dermatologists recommend it. So can't go wrong with it. I love it, and I will continue to use it, and I will be rebuying it. <laughs> this next one I feel like has also, I, I was influenced, people. I was influenced. I am so easily influenced anymore at my age. It's ridiculous. It's the Dauba uh, Serum Spray. This is, I think, White Truffle. Oh, God. Oh, my God. <sighs> it's okay. It managed. It, it, it's, it's, we're good. Thank God. Because <laughs> I got this not that long ago, but it's the White Truffle Spray. I will say I don't think it's revolutionary. I don't think it's something where I'm like, oh, my God, this has totally changed everything about my skin no what i think it is first off sometimes i don't want to go wash my hands and then apply anything if i'm running out the door sometimes i'll go makeup free and i just want a little bit of a glow so i'll just spray this on so it's nice not to have to use my my hands or worry about that i can just spray this on real quick and be out the door i know that sounds goofy but if you're in a rush and you're looking a little dry 
this is nice to just refresh yourself in the morning. When I first tried it out, I didn't have any skin issues or anything like that. It's a little more pricey than I would expect this to be, but I enjoy it. I don't use it daily. I just use it if I, if my skin is talking to me and saying I'm a little more on the dry side today, I need a little more help, then I will throw this in the mix. I also want to mention that I drink almost a gallon of water a day. That really helps my skin out. I can notice a difference if I do not drink my water. So that's what I'm saying when I'm trying to listen to my body and how my skin's reacting, all that kind of stuff. And I also do like cold plunges in the shower. So after my shower, I will put my water all the way on cold and try to stand in it for at least 20, 30 seconds. That's what I've worked myself up to. I haven't been doing it too long, I would say. I've only been doing that maybe the past like three or four weeks. Look into that. It's known to help with wrinkles and have all these other type of body benefits. If you have certain kind of health conditions, you should not be doing it. So make sure you do your own research. But I did want to mention that kind of stuff because I do think it does make a difference with my skin. And obviously your diet and genes and all that kind of stuff goes into how your skin is. So don't beat yourself up uh, completely because those things you sometimes can't help. So I wanted to get this video up for you guys. I've been doing my skincare religiously four months really starting to notice a difference in my skin i think consistency is 100 percent key when it comes to skincare i just went through a whole skin purge with my retinol so you're gonna have good days you're gonna have bad days sometimes bad weeks sometimes good weeks so hang in there keep up with your skincare you will notice a difference soon if you just started drink your water, and just take care of yourself. So that is all I have for today. If you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. I would really, really appreciate it. And I will see you guys on my next one. Thanks for watching.